Thus far in the course, we focused on building models that output a numerical prediction. For example, the amount of time it takes to drive to your destination. But what if we want to make other types of predictions to answer questions like, will it rain today? Does my car need a new transmission? Is this email spam? Let's take a closer look at that last example. Suppose we want to create a simple spam filter which predicts whether an email is legitimate or junk. We collect some training and test data and train a linear regression model to predict 1 if an email is spam and 0 if it isn't, based on the number of spammy words in the email text. Here are the results. Let's say we have an email that contains 10 spammy words. Is it spam? A score of 1 means spam and a score of 0 means not spam. But what about a score of 0.62? We can think of this score as an indicator of the likelihood that the email is spam. The lower the value, the less likely it's spam and the higher the value, the more likely it's spam. But it would be more useful if our regression model predicted a formal probability, a value from 0 to 1 representing the chances the email is spam. This type of regression task is called logistic regression. So how do we get our linear model to output a probability? We need to transform the model to apply some limits so it outputs continuous values that fall within the range from 0 to 1, where 0 indicates a 0% chance an email is spam and 1 indicates a 100% chance it's spam. What mathematical function could we use to do this? Two curves that may come to mind are an exponential curve and a hyperbola. Both functions produce outputs that approach a limit in at least one direction, but neither function's range is constrained to values between 0 and 1. What if we combine the two formulas? Here, we've created a curve whose output is squished between values 0 and 1. As the input decreases to negative infinity, the output approaches zero. And as the input increases to infinity, the output approaches one. This curve is called a sigmoid, one of a family of S-shaped curves called the logistic functions, from which logistic regression gets its name. We can use it to map the outputs of our linear model to a continuous probability range. Now we can retrain our model to calculate the probability of spam for any value of our feature, the number of spammy words. Using a logistic regression model, we can predict that our email with 10 spammy words has a 69% chance of being spam. Note that in practice, a spam prediction model would likely train on additional features and use more sophisticated natural language processing techniques. Logistic regression is a popular technique for building models that discriminate between two possible outcomes, including classification tasks. We'll further explore these applications later in the course.